Okay, in, in the interest of time, we'll just get go ahead and get started. Um, well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I know I stand between the happy hour and the party, and so a lot of you are probably anxious to get there. Um, my name is Jason. I also have on stage Takashi from Octopio and also Hisa from CTC America. Hello. Okay. So a little bit, just a quick introduction about my tech. I know we have 15 minutes. I thought 15 minutes was not enough for this session, but then I realized there are some sessions that are 10 minutes. So I guess it's uh, with almost 50 slides, I have to talk really fast. So I had to cut down the number of slides to just a, a few, you know, about 15 slides to fit within that 15 time frame. Um, for those of you that are not familiar with MyTech, um, we're actually a company based out of Taiwan. We make uh, ODM servers as well as white box servers, um, established in 1982. And um, basically we have about um, 2,000 um, R&D engineers with about 500, 400 employees here in the Silicon Valley. And MyTech's been a member, a community member of OCP since 2015. Um, throughout the years, we made a number of contributions to OCP. Um, we started with the ESA kit, as you can see. That is a special conversion kit for customers that would like to try OCP, but they might not have the infrastructure to support a 21-inch type of um, form factor. So those with the ESA conversion kit, you could actually put in OCP gear into a standard 19-inch um, form factor. And throughout the years, we also made a number of contributions to OCP. And at the end of the presentation, I will also share with you some of the things that we're doing in DC SEM. Okay. Okay. The main products, I'll start with the, some of the um, the infrastructure for core computing. So Tailgo Pass is our bread and butter. Um, this is basically a Intel second generation Xeon based uh, CPU. It supports two sockets and um, we have different versions. Some are more optimized for compute, some are more optimized for storage. Okay, and this, this is um, compatible with the OpenRack version 2.0. If you're looking at the AMD side, um, we do have our single socket uh, AMD, we called it Capri. So this is the OCP computing sled. Um, one thing unique about this platform is the support for up to 10 U.2 SSDs. So this is actually a pretty ideal um, platform if you wanna do some storage. Um, the main difference between this and the previous one, this is a single socket um, version. If you go to the MyTech booth, um, we're actually showcasing our next generation Capri, which is based on the next generation AMD, AMD platform. Um, one of the things that we uh, modified was now there's capabilities for GPU cards. So we put in additional, we found additional room to put in the GP, GPUs. Um, also, we have support both for 12 volt DC as well as 48 volt DC. So you could choose between the two different versions. Okay. With that, you know, um, I think the best way to talk about the benefits of OCP is to actually you know, let, allow our customers to share their experience. So what I'll do is I'm going to pass it over to Takashi from Atapio. Okay. Um, <clears throat> um, my name is Takashi Watanabe. I'm a manager and a senior software engineer at Octapio Inc., where I oversee the server infrastructure. Our journey with OCP started back in 2014. Due to limited human resources, it is important to find a solution that allows us to enable operational simplicity and improve efficiency. Uh, this will allow us to increase the number of technicians supporting a large number of servers. As we also know, energy costs are increasing and becoming a large portion of the total OPEX. OCP products are designed to provide better power consumption, optimize airflow, and easier serviceability. This, in turn, lowers the overall, overall OPEX and reduces the cost. OCP servers was designed to incorporate features such as front of rack serviceability, to do list repair operation, and simplicity by removing non-vanity parts that are not required. 
The time to repair comparison on failed components shows significant advantages over non OCP servers. And working with OCP solutions enables systems integrators like CTCA to deploy systems that are simple to install and easy to maintain and service. For example, it takes up to 160 seconds to swap out a server, and most other components can be changed in 60 seconds, often without tools. Hey, um, hi guys, uh, I'm Hisa uh, from uh, uh, CTC America, one of the Silicon Valley based uh, OCP solution providers. Uh, I've been working with uh, Tapio uh, uh, from their first, very first adoption to OCP since uh, 2014. Uh, I've been working with our community uh, back in 2013 and I set up OCP solution provider relationship. Um, and then, uh, you know, taking this uh, journey with Octapio to bring their operation to the next level. Uh, this journey has been really supported by, uh, you know, community members like Meta, Facebook, uh, you know, Rackspace, Google type of uh, companies, as well as, as well as great partner like MyTag. I would like to thank MyTag uh, to stay consistent, to provide a great products. Uh, and services. I like three. Uh, I like three things about OCP, uh, which is actually available as uh, I think an interview on the OCP community website. I think Steve's here. Uh, you know, we are talking about the benefit. You know, as a blog, but three things that I like is first is really user centric design, like Takashi mentioned. Second is a um, uh, because this is open sourced. It's been helping us to standardize configuration across uh, multi, com you know, multiple configurations, uh, and then getting a uh, really transparent cost structure, allowing us to save a lot of, um, you know, opex and capex too. Plus, really transparency across supply chain in this dynamic moment. Um, third, we have been always learning a lot from the community by you know, uh, meeting people and exchange what we've been taking. People are taking different approaches, so that there is always, uh, that's been always a lot to learn. So if th there is someone here who are looking at adopting uh, open compute uh, or expanding the footprint of open compute, um, you know, talk to us. We are more than happy to share what we tried, what we learned, mm -hmm. and where we are heading. Um, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you very much, Takachi and his sister. So um, I'm going to talk just a little bit about the edge side of things. Um, my tech has, you know, experiences in the 5G and edge server deployment since 2017. We first launched our Firestone system, and then we went to the Awanda, and then recently we also launched the Whitestone. I'm not going to go into too much details. If you need more information, please stop by the MyTech booth. Basically, there's three different platforms. One is our one U single socket edge server. Um, this is telco grade. Great. Look, um, if you look at the outdoor temperature range, minus 40 C, all the way up to you know the, the 65 degrees Celsius. So this supports all sorts of very harsh environment. You know, maybe below the cell site in the closet um, or in a very cold environment. Um, and then it was, it was, as we move to more the compute side of things, like things that you could use with a Mac, um, we do have the Awanda family. This is a 2U three node solution. Um, with this solution, you have three separate nodes, and we could customize it to be more storage focused or compute focused. And it does come with an RMC, so you can have you know, very good remote management capabilities. And then finally, for something that requires a little bit more power, we have our dual socket 2U edge server that supports GPUs. Um, like I said, if you need more information, please drop by the MyTech booth. We do have some of these systems uh, being displayed there um, for you to find out more information, okay? Um, and also, I'll make this slide available. It's probably gonna be on the OCP website, so you could uh, click on the links and get information that way. One of the things that I also want to share is um, a recent, you know, we've been working with the DCSCM 
community, uh, the work group, to produce a module. Um, for those of you that are not familiar with DCSCM, this is a way to take some of the, you know, for example, remote control, your BMC, root of trust, TPMs, and even SSD boot or debug at scale um, using the DCSCM module. Now, currently, there's already a, 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 a horizontal 1U, which is uh, this one here. What MyTech's working on is a special 2U version of this card. Um, we're making, we're contributing this to the community, and this is uh, ideal for a 2U form factor. Um, all the drawings and, and related documents are actually on the um, workgroup website, and we, we invite you to um, you know, take a look, go to the website, and uh, download the relevant, related documentation. So with that, I think I made my 15 minutes. Um, actually, the previous speaker went over a little bit. And um, I'd like to thank everybody here and enjoy the rest of the show. And special thanks to our friends from Octopio and CTCA. <laughs>